If you're a real poet, then you probably forget what being alive feels like a lot. But you love yourself, so you give yourself little opportunities to feel kachun, 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 anything. And you're a real poet. So you probably love the moment before stepping on stage because it feels like stealing. It feels like falling in love. If you're a real poet, then you probably spend way more money than you would like to at Staples. You probably practice your poems, so you probably know of at least one place that is so remote that you can go there, scream as loud as you can, and no one will hear you. You probably spend days screaming as loud as you can and feel like no one can hear you, so you write. If you're a real poet, you probably hate Microsoft Word. You probably hate Kinko's even more. You probably hate being judged. You probably hate some other poet in the world. You probably feel like you feel emotions and extremes, but emotions are like rocket science, except if rocket science couldn't accurately be explained by science. And if science sometimes like to hold you like the warmest quilt your grandmother ever weaved into your childhood, and other times like to hit you with a 16-wheeler built entirely from old report cards, detention slips, and literary magazine rejection emails. <laughs> Poets aren't the only ones who experience life-affirming joys and crushing failures. They're just the ones who attempt to articulate it so they think they're the only ones. But if poetry has ever taught me kachung, 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 anything, it's I'm not the only one. You're not the only one either. Let's make a deal. This won't be I'll write for you if you write for me. This is going to be I'll write for me if you write for you so that I can find me inside of you. If you're a real poet, then at some point in your life, you've probably had something stolen from you. Your credit card, your childhood, your identity, your voice. This is how you're taking it back. Yeah. Good to see you, beautiful.